G'day. Welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on Friday the 12th of August 2011. Let's pray together. Father, as we commence, let our hearts and minds be right before you. We thank you for your Son, Jesus. And it's in his name we offer you these praises, prayers and petitions in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives inside those who are your children. Amen. Let's now have a psalm of praise. It's Psalm 11 and our reader today is Sharona. Over to you, Sharona. Psalm 11 In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, Flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes the sons of men. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked and those who love violence his soul hates. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind shall be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. Upright men will see his face. Thanks, Sharona. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Christ has risen. The Spirit has come. Praise you, O God. Amen. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. Father, we bring before you the recent events in England, the riots and civil unrest. May justice rule and peace reign. Help those in authority to use imagination and creativity to solve the underlying problems. Where there is hurt, may there be healing. Where there is injustice, may justice prevail. Where there is pain, may there be comfort. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. Father, be the strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. Father, we pray that those in despair will be helped, and where there is darkness, there will be light. We lift to you once more, Father, the people affected by the drought in the Horn of Africa. Father, help the aid being sent to reach its destination instead of being stopped by insurgents and warmongers. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need following natural disasters, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We come now to praying for the needs of these individuals. Karen and Adam, Ruth, Kathy, Nev, Denise, Kerry, Lynn, Zachary, Patty and Amanda. O oh, great God, our provider, we ask for a healing touch and wisdom for the medical staff treating them. Now, Father, we lift before you all those facing challenging situations such as loneliness, confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues and financial pressures. O oh, Father, please meet their needs in whatever challenging situation is being faced, particularly for C and her daughter, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where we can. And Father, we also pray that you will give strength to the weak, particularly for Sarah. 
We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving, and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth, and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. And now as we close, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers.